Well, good morning and good afternoon for those folks who are in back east. Uh, my name is Derek Arms, the Director of Sales for QT Medical. This is the first of a series of webinars that we're going to be conducting throughout the rest of the year. And we're glad to have you on board. I'd like to introduce to you our sales specialist, uh, Sergio Paramo. Uh, good morning, Sergio. How are things going? Morning. Everything's going well. We had a little bit of technical issues this morning, but those got resolved and now we're here ready to go. So I'm excited to be here. All right. Well, we're kind of interested to in see what your presentation is going to be about. I understand we're going to focus on the Express ECG service. And with that being said, I'll hand it over to you, Sergio. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Derek. All right. So as Derek mentioned, my name is Sergio. Uh, I work as an account manager as well as sales specialist at QT Medical. And today we're going to just jump right in for the sake of time. Uh, because we had a little bit of a late rollout, uh, we will go ahead and talk about Express ECG. Alrighty, so this is our Express ECG service. This is gonna be what's inside the box or what's inside the kit. So every single time that we send out the kit, it's gonna have these contents, or excuse me, these contents, and let's go ahead and get right in. So typically, just very quickly, the traditional ECG is very cumbersome. Uh, it utilizes all of the different, 10 different leads that have to go position on the body very accurately. And in the event that you make a mistake, you can get an inaccurate reading. So at, here on the left side, you can see the gentleman here who's wearing the typical, very cumbersome setup. Whereas on the right side, you see PCA 500, which is QT Medical's personal cardiac assistant number 500. And so with the PCA 500, this is a super compact uh, portable device. It's gonna be in conjunction with our QT Medical electrode strips. So these are patented pre-positioned electrode strips. That's just a fancy way of saying that V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 have actually been all positioned here within the strip. RL or the right leg has also been uh, grounded inside of the strip. So now you only have three limb leads, right arm, left arm, left leg. And that's pretty much the, uh, the gist of the PCA 500. And you can see very obviously that setup time is gonna be a lot faster, things like that. And overall, it's gonna help to streamline the process of your EKGs, whether they be in office or today we're talking about doing EKGs remotely. All right. So as I mentioned, PCA 500 is a very complete platform. It has been FDA compared as of 2018, pardon me, uh, CMARC, so that's for international as of 2020. Again, just to reiterate, this is gonna be our super compact recorder. This is going to be our patented preposition electrode strip. So it's gonna be chosen based off of the patient's gender and weight. I can show you how to do that in just a minute. But typically it would be a size L or XL. Those are very, very common sizes. And so just really quickly, you can see that in this uh, kind of picture here, you see the gentleman wearing the setup. You also see the tablet here. So the, the patient is actually completing their own ECG utilizing this tablet. And this is gonna be the technology that they're utilizing. Okay, so the one cool thing I wanna show you is that here where it says, you know, AI diagnosis, that's, that's a fancy way of saying instant preliminary interpretation. So when you get the ECG, it won't say final interpretation, it'll say preliminary interpretation. So what does that mean? So everything is going to be printed out as you see here. The only difference is on the preliminary interpretation, it won't have the physician's name. That's literally the only difference. So this ECG is going to have the demographics, it's gonna have auto calculations, it's gonna show the time that it was recorded. Now to finalize it, which I can show you in just a second, the physician goes into the dashboard, types in their name. So in this case, this was our physician in-house, our CEO and founder, Dr. Ray Kong Chang. All he did is look at the preliminary interpretation, agree with it. He put his name and hit submit. So very, very quickly, I wanna show you how that's done just so that we have a, a general idea as to how the dashboard works. So when you get to the dashboard, you log in, it'll bring you here. So as soon as you have a patient that has an ECG that's waiting for you, these are all Jack Owens because they're all simulation EKGs. So you see here, these this batch here are already finalized, but then starting here, it says unread. So it's very, very simple to do. You basically isolate the lane for the unread EKG. And instead of hitting no, where we'll show like, you know, this is the EKG to use, et cetera, et cetera, any notes taken while uh, in reporting, now you hit summary. So when you tap summary, to make a long story short, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see all of the same auto calculations, demographics, even the preliminary interpretation. So here, when Dr. Chang typed his name and hit submit, this is the timestamp that that occurred at. So quite frankly, all you do is, as a physician, you look at everything. If it looks good and you agree with the diagnosis, you put your name here and you hit submit. Now, as soon as you do that, the PDF becomes downloadable. So the exact same ECG that was in question as unread becomes finalized. And then all you have to do is tap report with the little download icon here and you're done. So to make that 
transition back into the ECG report, the main kind of you know workflow is gonna be your physician is gonna get an email, and I'll show you that in just a second, how he gets notified. But once he gets that email, he literally just goes and follows the same logic. And then once he downloads the finalized EKG report, this will show as final interpretation. It'll show the timestamp here, the physician's name, and he's confirming this diagnosis. So that's pretty much how the sample ECG reports are gonna be working. All right, so this is the complete platform. This is everything that the patient's gonna get. And we could go ahead and jump forward so we can understand how the platform works in conjunction with the service. So that way you understand step-by-step what's gonna be happening when you place your order, when the patient receives it, when you get the email, all the way to when we disinfect it, we receive everything back at QT Medical. Okay, so for the sake of time, very quickly, this is our patented prepositioned uh, electrodes. These are proprietary electrodes. They're gonna be very different from what anybody has ever seen before, as these are a very large sticker. The way I describe it to people is it's kind of like a large Band-Aid with all the electrodes prepositioned in the Band-Aid, and then you just have very simple landmarks from here, right arm, left arm and then the left leg. So we have adult sizes as well as pediatric. The pediatric are gonna be for off-label use. Uh, so we have one, two, and three. The easiest way to understand the pediatric sizes is one would be a brand new baby, a newborn. Two would be more of a toddler. Three would be more of a school girl or school boy. So, you know, grade school child. And so when you get to the adult electrodes, however, we're gonna have them based off of gender and weight. So the easiest way to understand that is we have a chart. Now, when you reference the chart, it's actually really cool, really, really simple to understand it's the chart here. So I'll use myself as the guinea pig. I weigh over 209. Actually, now I'm at 206. So this is the first time ever I could say that I am a large electrode strip because I weigh between 154 and 209. Round of applause for Sergio, breaking from an XL to a large electrode strip. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's going to be basically how the electrodes work, size them based off of gender and weight. Okay, so when you place your order, how is it going to work? Because you know your patient's gender and weight, now it's time to place that order for your patient. Okay, so Express ECG is going to be an online order, mail delivery, home test. Again, this is what's located inside your kit. So it's very, very simple. It's only five steps and we don't stray away from this. This is going to be how it's done every single order. Very quickly, step one, the physician's gonna order through SQT Medical. Step two, the Express ECG kit is gonna be mailed directly to the patient so they can complete the EKG from the comfort of their home. Now, step three is very, very simple. The patient receives everything, completes the test on themselves. And again, this is so that they can do everything at home. They don't have to take time off work. If it's for children, they don't have to take time you know, for pediatric uh, use away from school, away from work, and then you know, transit time, it starts to add up the cost. So this way we get to send it directly to the patient, any age, any demographic, and they do it from home. Now for step four, this is actually where the doctor comes in. And so the results are gonna be instantly uploaded to the HIPAA compliant cloud so the physician can review, interpret, and, and finalize the EKG remotely. And so for step five, we'll receive everything back, disinfect it, sanitize it, and it'll be ready to go for the next order. So that's pretty much the workflow, it's very, very simple. Uh, really quickly here, just to tie in on the list left column here, you'll see Express ECG reigning supreme over the 12 lead ECG that's going to be done in the office. So you might ask yourself, why is Express ECG better? And then this is going to be the one and done uh, on that information. I won't jump too far into the reimbursement. I won't go too far into it, but I will brush over it just so that we're all understanding how you can get reimbursed with those CBT codes. So for Express ECG, the operator is going to be the patient in comparison to doing 12 leads in the office where you have to have a trained technician or a nurse. You have to book the room, staff time, and they start to add up. In this case, it's just the patient doing it remotely from anywhere. They could be on the couch, you know, they could be here in the office, anywhere that you want. But the goal is to send it to them at home so that they could remotely complete it. And then you can get the reimbursement at the highest rate possible. So the workflow for Express ECG is gonna be smooth, uninterrupted because it's the patient just doing it on themselves. Um, so the first consult we always recommend just to follow professional guidelines as well as to make sure that you're streamlining the way that EKGs are done. You can just go ahead and do it before the patient arrives or before you see the patient if, that, if at all possible. Now for the risk of COVID exposure, what I will say is that because our, our device is handheld, I actually have a, a PCA 500 here in my hand. Uh, what you can see is that it's very, very simple. It's very handheld uh, and it's very easy to disinfect. So based off of that, um, we've we have a very standard or we have a very um, 
simple SOP in which we're able to go through, disinfect, sanitize, and get it ready for the next order. So there's gonna be no risk of COVID exposure. Uh, disinfecting, like I mentioned, is very, very quick. And so the cost, it's gonna be $30 only. So you never have to worry about shipping, things like that. If you are from outside of California, there's actually not gonna even be any sales tax. Um, so we cover it for $30 flat. Again, if you're in California, it might look more like $32.46 or something like that. But again, $30 test in comparison to greater than 60, taking into account things like like PPE, the electrodes, um, the cost associated, so staff time, booking the room, et cetera. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and come back into the reimbursement. So here it says $102.49. And then below that, it says that the patient satisfaction is five times more than the conventional ECG. So what the patient satisfaction is referencing is the fact that, you know, if, if my mom has to take time away from work, then obviously that's unsatisfactory as far as customer service, as far as streamlining it. So now if I'm a child doing, you know, pediatric EKG on myself or my family's helping, you know, doing it from home, now the satisfaction increases because you know you don't have to take time off of work you can just have it sent anywhere and you could do it from home um, so the reimbursement of 102 dollars 49 i could really quickly um, get us through that just so that we're all understanding how to get reimbursed it's actually very simple so uh, to make a long story short with the express ecg reimbursement guide 2021 there's basically three codes and so if we kind of uh, direct our attention here to the center you'll see three different cpt codes now those are 99457, 99458, and 93010. So just very quickly for the sake of time, we're gonna jump right in, help you understand how you can get, capture that uh, revenue and how you can bill and get reimbursed. It's very simple. So when you do RPM or something called remote physiologic monitoring, and you're doing the treatment management services, meaning you're able to actually care for the patient remotely by creating the treatment plan or creating the service in which they're gonna complete their 12 lead, uh, and then 20 minutes or more of clinical staff or physician time. It could be another a qualified healthcare professional once in the calendar month. It's going to require interactive communication. So something very similar to phone call or video call. And when you do that and you document the 20 minutes uh, once in the calendar month for non-facility. So when it says non-facility here, that's referencing the remote patient monitoring or the express ECG service rather than doing it in your doctor's office. You can get 5161. Now, 99458A is not very different than this one, but I will read through it just so that we're very accurately uh, depicting what 99458A is. So it's gonna be remote physiologic monitoring, very similar. Pretty much everything is very similar. Now where it gets to the difference is an additional 20 minutes. So the first one, you're doing 20 minutes or more with your clinical staff, but with this 99458A, you need an additional 20 minutes. And then you could capture $42.22. So you're at $94 for doing these two CPT codes, which in theory are kind of similar to one another, and essentially you're just documenting the time that you're spending with your patient, 20 minutes here, an additional 20 here. Now 93010 is very, very simple. The oldest code I believe is the 93,000 for $18, whereas 93,010 is saying that I'm doing an ECG, very routine, and I'm doing at least 12 leads, right? So you can't do two leads or one lead, it has to be all 12, and then the interpretation and report. So that brings us to the end. $8.66, and then how do I get the $102.49? So this is a question we get a lot. How am I gonna get the, the total versus just maybe 51 or maybe just $8, things like that. So they can all be billed in conjunction. What that means is that when you take the time to bill 457, when you take the time to add on 458, and then you take the time to do 93010, which is very, very standard, for all of those in conjunction, um, you're going to get for Express ECG only, not in office, you'll get $102.49. And then so this is gonna be the guide that we send out to all physicians and uh, you know nurses, et cetera. And so they're able to actually send this directly to finance or use this uh, in conjunction with whatever they're doing. And then they're able to capture that revenue. So that's kind of just a little very quick one and done uh, description of something that's very, very important to a lot of our clientele, which is the reimbursement the financials. Okay, so we're, we're near the end here. Uh, I went over the sample ECG report, report, a little bit of the dashboards just to get you to understand like once your patient does the ECG, where does it go and how do I finalize that? So you know that. And then the reimbursement guide, we jumped on that. So now really it's just um, understanding the meeting has been upgraded by the host and now includes unlimited minutes, awesome. So um, 
understanding different practices that you can use express CCG. This is kind of where some people digress because they think, well, I don't do telehealth or maybe I don't, I don't have a lot of patients with long QT syndrome or something like that. So this is going to be all of them. And then it's just kind of for the clients to take a look. So obviously for cardiologists, that's going to be booming. And it's going to be a great service because for, for a lot of different patients, whether they be post-operation or ablation patients, congestive heart failure, stable coronary artery disease, these are going to be the top patients and the most common where they need follow-up uh, remote patient monitoring or remote physiologic monitoring of the 12 lead EKG, they could easily just order express ECGs for their for their folks. Now for the telehealth practice, this is there's various types, but if you need an EKG you want to remotely done and you just want to order it and have kids medical take care of the rest, that would be the telehealth practice. If there's patients that you know they, they're beginning their healthcare journey with their physician or their specialist and they're saying, hey, so I want to take an active role or I want to take part in my chronic disease management and they can work directly with their PCP. So this is really awesome, I, I love that one. Uh, and then again, moving forward, so if you have an a, a upcoming operation, you need pre-op clearance. Um, if there's various uh, you know, psychiatry meds as well as oncology meds that are gonna alter the state of your QTC interval or create long QT syndrome or prolong QTC, um, those are very, very important to monitor. So you could just order express ECGs and your 12 lead will help you to monitor those. Um, athletic screening, we work with a lot of those. That's a very, very great market that we fully support. Uh, medical weight loss, if you need a baseline assessment, things like that. And then skilled nursings are definitely gonna you know, utilize the 12 lead EKG. All right, so that's that's everything with QT Medical Express ECG. And then the last slogan is 12 lead ECG where you want it and when you need it. So that's gonna be everything with our Express ECG service. And I think we could open it up to questions if, uh, if you wanna bring it back around to Derek. All right, uh, very good, Sergio. That was a great uh, summation of the Express ECG service. And we actually have a few questions here. And uh, uh, let's see, question number one, how would Express ECG help with my practice? Okay, let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Let's see if I could jump back into here. All right, so the question was, how would Express ECG help with my practice? Well, that's correct. There's, there's a few different ways, but I think the overall is that when you think about utilizing Express ECG, you want to earn your money. You want to you want to save money. And there's actually something really, really cool that I'll show you guys in just a second. But how would Express ECG help with my practice overall? help with patient care. So the reimbursement is going to help you to capture lost revenue. So you're gonna be earning money by doing simple diagnostic tests. That's first and foremost, right? Okay, streamlining the EKG reporting process is going to be huge for a lot of nurses, for a lot of professionals. So for example, if you are a nurse and you're sitting with a patient and you're so used to, you've developed the chops for the 12 leads, so actually administering 10 different leads on the patient, B1 through six, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. That's very cumbersome setup. Now, helping your practice means streamlining your workflow and increasing you know, patient satisfaction. So once your patient does the EKG, all you have to do is just receive the email, finalize everything remotely. So gone are the days where you have to pull in your trained technician to work with the patient hands-on. I mean, you don't have to do that anymore. So you, know, you can keep your practice flowing and streamlined while having your patients, they could be in a room, they could be at home, but ultimately with Express ECG, we could send it directly to the physician, they could deploy it wherever they need it, or directly to the patient at home. You're enabling a faster and more enriched service where you actually don't need to really do anything, just order for your patient, they do everything, and then QT Medical does the rest. Does that make sense? Oh, that's good, good. That's a good uh, answer for that particular question. All right, question number two. I already have an EKG machine in my office. What are the benefits of using Express ECG service? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so in my uh, in my eyes, and you know, speaking a lot with different uh, practitioners, a lot of professionals, medical professionals, um, it just it all falls back to the pocketbook. It falls back to how am I able to increase my revenue with my EKG that's in office. So maybe we, we don't want to entirely replace what they're doing yet. We wanna show them a solution where they don't have to use the one in office and they could increase the revenue, right? So imagine you have one in the office, it's not being used, but you hear about Express ECG and you're thinking, I wanna use that maybe in conjunction or as an ancillary. That's totally fine too. So there's different ways to do it, but for remote patient monitoring, you build those CPT codes, uh, your patient can be at home remotely situated, right? So if you're doing EKGs in the office, you're probably doing the very, very old codes, right? So 93,000 for $18. And then now we're also talking about 93,010, giving you uh, $8.66. But with these recently uh, confirmed remote physiologic monitoring, so the RPM codes, 
you're able actually you're actually able to capture that lost revenue when you use those codes instead uh, and then you get reimbursed for doing typical EKGs that you're already doing in the office but now that you're doing them remotely you qualify for a lot more money to be reimbursed so that's it's really simple a lot of it just kind of goes back to the reimbursement um, but one thing I will say is a lot of things to consider especially talking to various nurses is just the setup time for the technician is less with Express ECG. So that's very, very, that's adding tremendous value to what you guys are able to do anywhere. It's not just in the office, it's anywhere. And then also the accuracy of our 12 lead. When I opened up the sample ECG report, you're able to see how accurate the 12 lead is. And that's every test. Assuming that the patient doesn't have any artifacts, they're not moving, things like that. They're just relaxing, taking a 10 second resting ECG. Um, you know, it's going to be really, really perfectly reported. And then again, we recommend them taking three tests, not just one. So usually that third test, they're most calm. It's a very relaxed state. They can take that full tech and 10 second resting ECG and then everything will go very procedurally from there. So I just think overall, um, you know, the accuracy is, is much higher. Um, even our technology, even something uh, that we don't really talk about, the hydrogel. You know, a lot of different practitioners are not using hydrogel, which is going to ensure the optimum conducti conductivity, um, adherence to the skin, and then just give you the most accurate ECGs, whether it be in the office, on your own system, or Express ECG is going to be a little bit more accurate, a little bit more money, and then you could try and figure out how to deploy that one, you know, wherever you see fit. All right, good. Uh, that actually very two good, very good points about the accuracy and setup time. I think it brings a significant added value and benefit. All right, question number three: Can you tell me more about the RPM CPT codes you claim that I can get more reimbursed reimbursement on? That's right. Yeah. So I went <laughs> over everything theoretically. Now let's look at the. Um, let me get my questions out of here. Um, Let's look at the actual Express ECG calculator. So again, I have, I have one, one trick up my sleeve today. So what I always do is I, I have a Zoom meeting with new clients just so that I can you know, describe who I am, what we do, and then also what the service is, how it could be integrated you know, seamlessly. But a lot of them ask me a question like, I don't really have a large volume, or maybe I, I, I anticipate to have a large volume. If all the assumptions are true, meaning if I'm going to build those three CPT codes that you guys um, have relayed to me, right? So you know that you're gonna bill for $102.49. Okay, so from here, the assumptions are that you are earning $72.49 by billing those three CPT codes for a total of $102.49, okay. Now you're subtracting the cost. So this is gonna be a net overall, right? Because you're subtracting all your costs. So you bill for 102, it costs $30 to get the service to your patient. You're earning $72.49. This here is just a really simple way of saying you're going to lose $2 if you're doing it in the office because you're only doing CPT code 93,000 for $18 reimbursement. And it typically costs $20 for things like PPE, the room, et cetera. So now all of these things true, you're saving per one patient each month is going to be $888 per fiscal year. So what that means is that if you have five patients instead of one, right? If you type in one patient, it'll show 888, it'll match. But let's say I'm a small practice and I think I can get eight patients in one calendar month. If I keep those eight patients at the end of the year for doing their EKGs, let's say this is a small cardiology practice, eight patients month over month at the end of the year, I've actually gone from one patient at 888 to eight patients at 7,104. So just for the sake of time, as well as you know, increasing the argument and making it stronger, let's say I'm a big practice, I'm deploying this with all of my new baseline assessments, new cardiology patients, et cetera, et cetera, and I have something more like 25 a month. So that's a pretty handsome number and you click calculate, by the end of the year, you're looking into five figures, 22,000 just from doing the ECGs in this method with all these assumptions with that reimbursement. Does that kind of help you to understand maybe like the, the scaling up and then maybe like the growth opportunity with using Express ECG? Actually, that's a very good uh, explanation on the cost savings analysis as well as the continuous revenue stream, especially as you get into the higher volumes. I think that's a good explanation, Sergio. That's, that's great. Awesome. All right, so question number four. This is uh, the, what would I call the muy importante question or the important question. <laughs> How do I claim my two free express ECGs? <laughs> Absolutely, so typically we always offer these um, to a lot of our clientele, but because this one is only about express ECG talk, 
a lot of them have already you know, taken us up on that offer of two free. So if you just want to get two for free, you're brand new here. This is the first time you've joined us. Welcome, by the way. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and reach out to anybody at QT Medical. You could go to our website and contact us via the contact form. Uh, you could reach out to us right here in the chat, just basically saying, hey, how do I claim? You know, that's my question today. How do I claim my ACGs? Reaching out to us, all we do is generate the code via our Shopify e-commerce. Once we have the code, we'll issue you it. And that code is good for two free orders. Now I will say this because I say this to everybody so that they can understand you know, how different ways that you could deploy this. So number one, um, these are great because you could actually try it out on yourself. So what a lot of physicians do because they're very hands-on, you know, let's say you have like a big psychiatry practice, you, the medical director, or you, the CEO of your psychiatry practice, you want to try it out. You want to you know, sign off yourself, but then you also want maybe your wife to try it out. That's a very simple model. We could send out two, you order one for yourself, one for another, and then, you know, the actual owner of the company or the main uh, medical professional will try it out. Okay. Number two, you can order directly for patients. So this is a great way to have them be kind of the test to see how is this going to work? Uh, how is it sending the device back? It's something we haven't even talked about is when you're done with the EKG, what do you do with it? So we include that return envelope. So on the inside of your actual kit, right? Like let's say this was your kit. When you open it up, there's gonna be another return envelope. So the cool thing is, is that we fully pay for shipping and handling. And so claiming your test is very, very simple, but we wanna give you the tools to be effective. So like, I just, I really wanted to make sure you know that you could do it for yourself and another, or it could be for directly for patients. And then once you kind of confirm that the service is good, it's strong, you try out your first two, then we could kind of retalk at that point and try and figure out, hey, so how, how should we deploy this moving forward? Or do you wanna do monthly billing? There's a lot you can do with the service. And that's where I come in to you know, work with you as your account manager. That's great. That's great. It's basically a no risk evaluation of utilizing the Express ECG service it can be used on the physician theirself or on their patient. So that's uh, that's nice uh, right. use of those uh, complimentary uh, coupon codes. Well, it looks like we have a question from Neil. How long does it take to complete a recording? From Neil. OK, Neil. How long does it take to complete a recording? Well, typically what I will say for all of our patients is that you have to develop the chops, right? So. When I first saw the 12 lead ECG with the electrode strip, my answer was, oh, it's gonna take me minutes to do, I don't even know this technology. But once you develop the chops and you have a firm understanding, it's a 10 second resting ECG. So what that means is that 10 second resting ECGs, including the set of time of the electrodes, we've clocked it at about 90 seconds to complete one EKG reporting. Again, this is not the brand new patient that's reading the instructions, that's trying to understand how to power on the device. We, we view it as once you read the instructions and you've done a few EKGs, you're ready to go, you're a pro. Because the setup is easy with just one button, simple simple uh, landmarks on the actual EKG. You know, pairing directly to your smartphone, it can be done very, very simple through Bluetooth, et cetera. So that's nice and quick. Honestly, Neil, I think 10 second resting ECGs with setup time, we're gonna give you a minute and 30 seconds as like your, your total time. Um, and the way that I view it is just like, once you have, once you've done this a time, like a few times, your actual EKG device, the way very similar to if you're using your AirPods and then you just select them because Apple has already saved them as a device. Well, your EKG device, after you do your first one, it'll save it and it's actually entered as your serial number. So instead of saying Sergio's EKG device or QT Medical's EKG device, all you do is go to your Bluetooth, it'll show you the serial number, which is very simple to see, pair to it, and then every single time you're gonna be doing your ECG, pairing takes a second, recording takes 10 seconds. So I would say 90 seconds is the, the overall, if you will. All right, that's a good answer as well, Sergio. Uh, it, uh, it appears to be a significant difference in setup time in terms of uh, doing an ECG uh, compared to doing one in the office versus the and also in the hospital versus using the PCA 500 and Express ECG service. Uh, much different. You don't have to worry about placing 10 different electrodes on the patient or for that matter, sterilizing the entire cable system for a traditional 12 lead machine on the cart versus using the small PCA 500 and uh, setting up the uh, single use, single strip uh, preposition electrode. That's, uh, that's great. It's good added value to that type of uh, uh, system. All right, so I don't see any other additional questions. Anybody have any questions out there before we uh, call this a complete webinar? 
If not, uh, we want to first of all thank uh, Sergio Paramo for his detailed uh, description of the Express ECG service, in particular going through the CPT reimbursement codes. That brings a lot of clarity to reimbursements uh, when you compare that to in-office, in-hospital versus remote. And also going over the details of the accuracy, the efficiency, and the simplicity of using the Express 12 lead ECG service. Stay tuned for more webinars moving forward for the remaining part of the year. We will be making an announcement shortly on our next topic and uh, our speakers will be identified. It'll probably be Sergio as well, but we may have some other guest speakers uh, moving forward. So with that being said, I hope everybody uh, to be well and be safe. And until the next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, Derek. It was great. Had a fun time.